Using a cloth tape of five feet or more that is supplied with the breathing kit, wrap the tape around your chest right above the breast tissue and below the clavicles or collarbones. Exhale as much as you can and take the first measurement. Then inhale as much as you can and take the second measurement. So we had 38 for the first one and 42 for the second one. Subtract the first measurement, in this case 38, from the second measurement of 42, for instance, 42 and a quarter, and you have your optimal position one chest expansion. Using the same tape, wrap the tape around the chest right below the breast tissue and over the bottom of the breastbone or xiphoid process. Exhale as much as you can and take the first measurement. It's 37. Then inhale as much as you can and take the second measurement. It's 41 and a half. Now you have your optimal position three chest expansion, which in this case is also four and a half. Position one and position three should be either the same, forming a sort of a rectangle or square, or position three should be the same or larger than one and form a pear shape with the largest side or bottom of the pear as the base. To have it reversed shows a propensity towards a high chest breathing pattern inviting hyperstimulation hyperventilation, anxiety, panic, phobias, and a host of health challenges. The breathing pattern must be in balance with the base or foundation as large or larger than its upper structure. I have observed position one chest expansion measurement on average is between one and two inches. My educated guess is that if you are five foot two inches tall and have a one inch chest expansion, that is okay. Not good, but okay, perhaps mediocre. If you are six foot two inches tall and have less than two inches, that is not okay. A five foot two inch female singing client had a 3.5 inch chest expansion. For her size, this is excellent. Another client is five foot 10 inches and has a one half inch chest expansion. She is in big trouble. She also weighs 325 pounds. Mine is 4.25 to five inches. I am six foot two and weigh 185. Make adding at least one inch a primary goal in the next two months. Then another inch over the next year. Position three, always needs to be as large or larger than position one.